same type mess. I thought we were all right. Never shoot it wrong, we were all right. Is it too mean to suggest that I don't know what I think that I think? I thought we were all right. Never shoot it wrong, we were all right. Dude, you just keep going the whole time. Gotta keep going. I was like, they must drink a lot of. Rockstar. A lot of ginseng pills. Ginseng, huh? Yeah, that I've heard that works too. To work. So if I need energy, I'll start popping in. Popping some ginseng. Ginseng. Yeah. Viagra you can buy it on our website. Actually. I'm gonna do the Viagra for the hair the too. The Viagra for the hair, crush it. Like, <laughs> fuck it up with Viagra. Fuck it up with. It's good. You have some pretty insane spiked hair. Mine's not spiked. No, if, if you spiked it, it'd be pretty I, insane. It wouldn't be able. I don't think it would be able to stand up. That would be the next long. interview. Can we yes. spike? It will be hair. Jeremy's bucket up line of hair. He's going to do my hair and then we're going to show the line. I like it. And then he's going to spray paint my hair purple and green. Why are those colors? Is that your favorite? No, it's red. Okay, well then red. Anyway. We'll choose red. red. <laughs> now, I want to talk about some of your videos. Just one night. I watched it. Just for one night. Oh, excuse me, just for one night. Oh, excuse me, it was just for one yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one night you watched it. <laughs> just, for just, for night. Night. just for one night. It had a little bit of kind of a rock of love with Austin Powers, but you called it Buck of Love. Buck of Love. And that was funny. Thank you. Because I was watching you, and as you were putting on the makeup and the wig and the cowboy hat, I was like, you really look similar to Brett Michaels. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> did you come up with the idea for the video? I did. I came up with the idea. So were you just the whole treatment? And, <laughs> well, the idea was uh, the song was called "Just for One Night," and and the chorus is you know, you know, won't you just stay with me just for one night? You know, won't you right. say say to me that it's all right? You know, <laughs> won't you stay with me just for one night? So I started thinking about that. And really, it's about you know giving an opportunity. You know, like like. What do we got to lose? It's like, what are you doing tonight? Is this, let's, is this let's kind of from a guy point of view? I think it's all. I think it's 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 a unisex point of view, really. I mean, because you talking about yeah, but well, I mean, I'm not <laughs> I'm not condoning one night stands, but you know, they can always lead to something else or not. So why put so much pressure on having fun? You know, so that was kind of the idea. But I thought of it as a question. You're kind of asking somebody. Will you stay with me? Just let's just give it a shot for one night. You're very polite. No, yeah, thank you. And then I thought that you know <laughs> that question is kind of like the dating games of, of you know that's so popular. You know, blind date, limited. Yeah. They're all just trying to, to hook up. See, the, the bachelor they're trying to hook up, and and so that's kind of the underlying question: Are you going to stay with me in your life? Are you going to this is going to make this date work? And you get one opportunity, and so it kind of brought me to this this level of like, well, I like the dating game of the night. 1960s, you know, and, and there was the bachelor one and bachelor number two, and bachelor number I three. Like and they that. were, they were asking questions to find out who they were going to pick, and then whoever got picked gets the the prize, you know. <laughs> and then I thought, well, that's cool, but what if we had something that was more current as well? So we did the old school retro because it's the age old question: people have been trying to hook up with somebody <laughs> and still, for one night, and it's still, going. And it's still going on. <laughs> and then, you know, The Rock of Love with Brett Michaels would be a perfect kind of demographic for the rock and roll people and music people that follow him and, and that show and it's a little, it's a little quirkier, I should it was, say. It was funny. So we piece those two together and try to come up with some way to, to, to show them. So. And you had, you had a lot of women pawing at you. Yeah, um, I paid them very well with a nice cake of beer. I was like, hey, really, I was like, <laughs> were, were all those... Were they family, friends, or were they, were they strangers? I mean, you, you it's, even it's ended up with somebody in bed yeah, it's, just for one night. It's, it's amazing what a keg of beer can do. I mean, <laughs> free beer, it still works. People, I mean, if, if you got a video, no budget, you know, you need a lot of people in to get a keg, keg of beer. beer. And just call it a party. You don't even tell them you're shooting a video. You just call it a rap party. Yeah, yeah it's good. There you go. <laughs> So, you know, we did that. Now, I was very fortunate. We've been playing around for a while. We, we've built up a, a huge community of um, supporters and friends, and, and it's like a family that we have. So we basically just put out the word and had a, had a strong enough idea where they all got, all the girls got excited because <laughs> they could identify with They've all seen the show Rock of Love and yeah. to be a girl. And we had the passes and, oh. you know, dress up. And so they got into it. And it was so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, nice. you guys look like you were having fun. That was, it was a lot of fun. So. so the first time you put the hat on along with the makeup, did you feel like you were actually Brett Michaels? Because I mean, you looked very similar to him when you put your get-up gear the, on. The whole, st 
thanks him from a Halloween party that we had. Oh, to really? I had to perform at a Halloween party in Palos Verdes, <laughs> and the whole theme of the Halloween party was uh, to be a rock star. And I was trying to figure out what I was going to wear, and and, uh, and my girlfriend at the time, Carolyn, you know, we, we're married now, but uh, congratulations! Yeah, thank you. She's the one that's in. That ends up at the end of the video just with for me. One, yeah. Oh, nice! See, just for one night. That was one of the stipulations. It was you know? quiet. You can have all it these, does work. You can have all these girls in there. But I better be the one you pick. <laughs> that's I was right. Like, okay, it's, you know, politics, but now I'm a victor. But. Uh, but so she had a couple of girlfriends coming with her to go to this party, but they didn't know what to wear, and all these ideas were showing up. We had like a day to get ready for this. And I thought, wait a second, I'll be Brett Michaels. I'll get a wig, and I'll dress up, wear the cowboy hat and the bandana, and I'll make up backstage passes for you and the girls, and you can be the Rock of Love girls. So I'll walk in with like three girls, and you guys just dress up. And so that's what we did. It. Everybody was like freaking out at the party. He's like, "Wow, I thought you were actually in." Because you look very similar. To so me. that yeah. was sort of like, okay, now we do the video. I know I got the bra. I got the Brett Michaels gear. Let's <laughs> and go that for worked it. out really yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. So it was fun. It was. A, it was a fun video. I liked. I enjoyed watching it. Thank you. Here. Thank you. I also want to talk about another video. Take me away. Mm -hmm. Where was that shot at? It was shot at uh, a couple different places. Uh, the same director that, that shot and edited just for one night did Take Me Away as well. And we had no premise for that video. It was just like, he was in town from San Francisco. His name's Bart, Bart Bischoff. Okay. And uh, he's like nine-time Emmy Award winner up in San Francisco. So mm -hmm. he's worth it up. Yeah, he's, he's a great friend of ours. That's the good thing about it. Uh, plus for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But he uh, just showed up and was like, I want to shoot a video. So. Okay. Just hop in, hop in the van, let's cruise around. And so we shot uh, a lot of it at the beach, uh, Doc Weiler Beach in, 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 yeah. in Santa, uh, where's it, the Doc Weiler? It's a... It's El El Segundo, yeah, yeah, the El way Segundo. El Segundo, yeah. I was going to say San Pedro, but we then the other part we shot in San Pedro at like the sunken city. Uh, oh. there, was a, there was an earthquake many years ago, and there was a little high stretch of highway that was right there off the shore, and it's all crampled up. So. When you see me dancing down all the graffiti and half yeah. the road, it's a really, really cool space. So we shot that there, some of the dancing stuff. And, and there's a Korean kind of uh, yeah, I about to say, Korean I bell. Was, I was looking at some of that. It almost looked like you were somewhere in Asia, in Japan. Yeah, or... it's, a, it's a monument. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like a Korean bell monument or something that they donated over here. So, And we took advantage of it. Uh, why not? <laughs> yeah. Now, you have you guys have been to Japan though, right? Or yeah, I've been to Tokyo. Tokyo. Tokyo twice. Yeah. Did you guys Tokyo. perform there? I went by myself both times, but I did perform. I played nine, ten shows in Tokyo. So I went two different occasions, and I opened up for a, a very famous artist over there named Isaku Yoshida. He's a good friend of mine. That was a mouthful. Yeah, Isaku Yoshida. Yoshida. Isaku. <laughs> I was like, wow. He's a famous actor and a famous. Uh, Musician over there, and he's a great friend of mine. We did a few films together, and then so I went over and opened up for him. But um, I had a Japanese band. Uh, back really? Because I was over there. And that I played, was interesting. That's when I was playing drums and singing. So uh, and and there was a friend of mine that was a musician that lived over there. That was a really talented musician. He used to live in Los Angeles and moved back there right before I, I went out on tour. And he put together uh, two guitar players and and a bass player who learned all my music. So when I showed up, got off the plane, we had a rehearsal, and I just started playing drums, and they knew it like, like verbatim for the CD, and it was really powerful. It was such a great experience. It just showed me that music is a universal language, you know. Mm -hmm. Like you may not, we couldn't really communicate that well because I didn't know very much Japanese. <laughs> they squishy, knew a little more squishy. English than I knew Japanese, but, yeah. but they were. Uh, but when you play an E note, it's the same as an E, same thing. you know, in, in any scale. So it was really powerful, and we had such a great time. Do you enjoy eating the food over there? I loved it. What's your favorite thing to eat over there? It's not raw chicken, but I had some raw chicken.